Hi, I'm Todd Heitkamp, the owner of Dakota Angler here in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, with this week's two-minute fishing report. Folks, first off, I want to thank all of you. We have been voted Sioux Falls Best, the number one fishing tackle retailer in the Sioux Falls area, and it's all because of you, all our great customers. And, and also, I have to thank my employees, too, but uh, I am very proud to say uh, the, uh, you know, very proud of the recognition to say the least and from the bottom of my heart I want to say thank you. As far as the fishing report is concerned, honestly the past seven to ten days the weather has been very stable. You know, we've had some, uh, let's say, weaker cold fronts that have passed through the area and that has definitely affected the bite somewhat. But guys that went out this past weekend, this past week up in the northeast as far as walleyes are concerned, the lakes that produce those walleyes included uh, Bitter, Antelope, Dry Lake by Clark, uh, Wabe, Goose, Indian Springs, uh, Long Lake in Coddington County, as well as Hazleton, Blythe Slough, and then also South Rush. And then down in the southeastern part of the state, uh, lakes included uh, Dry Lake by Willow Lake, Ponset, Campbell, Thompson, a few being caught at Sinai, as well as 81 Ponds, uh, Whitewood, a few being caught there, Madison, Twin, Island, and then also Lake Chetak in southwest Minnesota. Now what have guys been doing to catch those walleyes? A lot of ripping wraps, a lot of jigging wraps have been used the past week, tipped with middle heads in some cases. Otherwise, the, the clam leech flutter spoon seems to be really the number one spoon that guys are using. And also, the other one, close behind it, is uh, the glow spoon from Venom. And I think that's mainly due to the fact that late afternoon, the evening bite, uh, the glow spoon seem to be doing a little bit better. And then as far as the perch bite is concerned around the area, uh, that seems what, every, like what everyone is going after right now because of the walleye be, bite being off a little bit. Uh, lakes that produced perch this past week included Bitter, Big Stone, Hendrix, uh, Dry Lake by Clark, also Dry Lake by Willow Lake, and then also 81 Ponds, Long Lake just south of Madison, Ponson, Thompson, as well as Diamond, Island, and then also Big Spirit down in northwest Iowa. Now what have guys been using to catch those uh, perch? In many areas, a lot of guys are using tungsten jigs, obviously. Also a lot of drop chain lures, such as the Haley's. And by the way, Haley has a new drop chain lure out. Take a look at it next time you're here at the store. Also Pilkies, and then also the new uh, D-Chain by K uh, Castmaster seems to be doing the trick. Uh, other than that, a lot of uh, guys using the clam jointed uh, pinhead middles, and that seems to be doing a little bit better. Uh, as days go by. So all of those lures tipped with waxworms and maggots seem to be the trick this, this past week and we have plenty of maggots and waxworms on hand here at the store. In this week's version of Todd's Tackle Tips we're going to talk about the art of using tip-ups and a lot of people really don't think of tip-up fishing as really true ice fishing. Honestly folks they're a great tool to have in your toolbox especially when you're out searching for those fish. And what do I mean by that? Well, here in South Dakota, you can have four lines. And that can be any combination thereof of whether or not you're talking about, you know, regular ice fishing rods and reels or tip-ups or all tip-ups. Four lines per person. And so what I like to do is, especially if I'm on the search pattern and I'll try to set up somewhere near structure, what I'll do is I'll set up my house where I want it and then I'll set up some tip-ups in different depths or different types of structure. So that way if I know if a certain tip up keeps getting hit, I know that maybe I need to move my house over in that location. So again, you can use tip ups to your advantage. Now there are many different types of tip ups. You know, the, the, the most popular one is probably the frayable uh, thermal tip up. And by the way, all our tip ups are on sale. So don't, uh, don't forget to take advantage of the great sale. But there's also some uh, new ones on the market, the clam uh, thermal tip up, as well as the HT thermal tip up. And then also other uh, tip ups that use also your uh, rod and reel such as the iFish Pro, uh, also the Clam Arctic Warrior. All of those are great tools to have in your toolbox, uh, especially, like I said, when you're searching for those fish. So again, you can use them to search different uh, depths or different parts of structure, and hopefully you'll know where those fish are located. Now it's time to take a look at a few photos that you sent in to me this past week. And remember folks, if you'd like your photo included in next week's version of the 2 Minute Fishing Report, please send it to me. Send it to Todd at DakotaAngler.com or post it to our Facebook wall. And if I use your photo, your name will be entered into a monthly drawing for a $25 gift certificate. 
And folks, before we end this report, and, and honestly, before I forget, I want to remind you that everything beginning now is on sale that is ice fishing related. That means shacks, augers, clothing, electronics, jigs, rods, combos, you name it, it's all on sale here at Dakota Angler. So make sure you stop on by and check out the great prices and the great selection still to be had yet this year. So again, if you have any questions, if you can't make it by the store, feel free to check us out on the web at dakotaangler.com. Or also give us a call at 605-336-9132. Well, folks, that's this week's version of the 2-Minute Fisher Report. For Dakota Angler, I'm the owner, Todd Heitkamp. And as we say around here, fish on! We'll see you next time. And again, thanks for watching.